Thanks for tuning in and welcome back. You're watching Spotlight on Union. I'm Edith Thomas bringing you updates on all of our local events. Truck Thursdays are here and extra tasty. Stop by for some good eats from various vendors every Thursday until May 30th from 5.30 p.m. to 8.30 p.m. located at the Town Hall front parking lot, 1976 Morris Avenue. For a list of vendors participating weekly, follow on social media at TWP Union NJ. Shop in town and earn property tax when you sign up for the Union VIP card, an initiative of the Township Committee and its Special Improvement District to reward residents for shopping locally. The more residents shop in the town, the more property tax credit they accumulate towards their individual property tax bills. Look in the window of our participating businesses to see if it has the VIP logo, and if so, you'll know that there are tax credits coming your way when you shop with that business. For more information, visit UnionCenterSid.com. Burnett Middle School Performing Arts Company presents MTI's Broadway Junior Review, Raise Your Voice. Friday and Saturday, April 19th and 20th at the 7 p.m. and Sunday, April 21st at 1 p.m. Tickets will be sold at the door located at Burnett Middle School Auditorium. For further information, email bsloan at twpunionschools.org. It was opening day for the Union Little League last weekend. Our township committee, along with many others, came out to show support. Let's take a look. A little chilly today, but we're gonna start it anyway. We're doing good. Everybody nice and warm? We're ready to go. I'm Jim DiGiovanni. I'm a member of the Little League Board of Directors. And I wanna welcome everyone to our 71st season, 71 years. In the words of the immortal Babe Ruth, baseball was, is, and always will be the best game in the world. And now to begin our ceremony, I would like to introduce the lifeblood of our league, the players and their coaches. I'd like to ask Kai Famerin to come forward, please, and read the Little League Pledge for us. There it is. Yeah. I trust in God, I love my country, and will respect its laws. I will play fair and strive to win. But win or lose, I will always do my best. Thank you, Kai. Uh, Mayor Figueroa, they come forward. I got another jacket. Another jacket for another me. Another jacket. God, I have such a collection. Thank you, Jim. And another hat. Thank you. I guess I should put it on. Good morning, Little League. How are you out there? Good to see parents. How are you? Good to see all of you. And on the other side here, good to see you back here. And to all of our volunteers, our coaches, how about a nice round of applause for them? You know, it's not too long ago that I was out here with my own children. 
think it was about 20, I'm not afraid to say it, about 20 years ago, maybe, give or take a few. And it still brings back memories. Whether it's cloudy, whether it's sunny, it's always opening day for Union Little League. And that brings warmth to my heart because I love this game and I know all of you here do. So without further ado, we're gonna get this going and have a great season to all my young people that are out here. Enjoy your season, have a great time and enjoy the memories that you're gonna have this season. Thanks everyone. Online registration is still open for our upcoming Operation Clean Sweep on Saturday, April 20th. Check-in will open at 8.30 a.m. at the DPW and cleanup begins at 9 a.m. The picnic party at Rapkin Park follows at 12 p.m. All supplies like rubber gloves and poke sticks will be provided. Please remember to bring or wear your boots and community service hours can be provided. So register online today at uniontownship.com. Hannah Caldwell Elementary School invites you to the Autism Acceptance Fun Run, Saturday, April 20th, located at the Union High School track. Walk a mile to support our students and stay to enjoy the activities. Registration begins at 10 a.m. with the fun run starting at 11 a.m. and from 12 to 3 p.m. the activities will be open. For more information, email amorelio at twpunionschools.org. The high energy interactive performance of dueling pianos featuring the Flying Ivories is Sunday, April 21st at the Union Senior Center, 652 Rawway Avenue. The event is from 3 to 6 p.m. with doors opening at 2.30. Tickets can be purchased in person at the Union Senior Center or online via Eventbrite. This fundraiser will support the 2024 Memorial Day Parade on Monday, May 27th. For more information, visit uniontownship.com, call 908-851-5290, and follow on social media at TWP Union NJ. We're going to take a quick break, but stay tuned to learn more about our upcoming events. Be sure to check us out on all social media platforms. On Instagram, follow at TWP Union NJ and at Union TV 34. On Facebook, we're at TWP Union NJ, and you can always watch some of your favorite videos on our Vimeo page. Celebrate at the second annual Asian American Pacific Islander Festival on May 4th, located on Stuyvesant Avenue in Union. The festival will feature multiple AAPI-owned businesses, such as Mighty Ape Graphics, Bubble Bear Books, a Studio La Gaia, along with food vendors including Love Food More, Brownie Bar, Timoni, and Silver Glass Mobile Bar. In addition, there will be live cultural performances featuring Polynesian dancers, a Samurai Sword demo, a Bollywood performance, and more for visitors to enjoy. The festival will take place from 12 p.m. to 4 p.m. For more information, please visit UnionCenterSid.com. We look forward to seeing you there. How do you know when you've made the right decision? It's the feeling you get in your gut. The one that tells you what's right or wrong. It's the one that says, sure, I can have a drink. Or the feeling that says, okay, I've been drinking, now what? It's the voice inside you that says, I'm buzzed. Better leave the car when it's time to go. Plan ahead, catch a sober ride. Buzz driving is drunk driving. Welcome back, I'm Edith Stamas and you're watching Spotlight on Union. Join our Union Recreation Department and Fashion First workshops with their upcoming Spring Fashion Sewing class, where you'll learn to create a spring drawstring top. The workshop will begin April 24th and run every Wednesday until May 29th, with times varying by age groups. No sewing experience is needed and classes are open to girls and boys. Sign up today by visiting uniontownship.com backslash recreation and for questions, email renee at fashionfirstworkshops.com. Hannah Caldwell PTA Spring Marketplace returns Saturday, April 27th from 11 a.m. to 5 p.m. in the school parking lot. 
1120 Commerce Avenue. The event will feature food trucks, vendors, and more. Follow their Facebook page, Hannah Caldwell PTA, for more information. Online registration is now open for Union Recreation's candle and soap making class with Essentials by Envy. Saturday, May 11th from 4 to 6 p.m. at the Vauxhall Meeting Center, 333 Russell Street. Give the perfect gift to mom this Mother's Day. For more details, visit uniontownship.com, call 908-686-4200, and follow on social media at TWP Union NJ. Maxon Hyundai recently celebrated their grand reopening of the brand new state-of-the-art sales and service facility. Let's check out what the dealership had to offer. Good morning, everybody. What a day, right? Sun's finally coming out, but we moved everything inside. Nothing's gonna stop this little party that's going on right now. I'm so happy to be here, I really am, because I've known one of the owners, Michael Jasuli, for over 50 years now. I was in town when this building was first, well, the old building was first. So you have to come out here and see this building. It's unbelievable uh, what they've done here. And uh, there's, a, there's also, along with Michael Tissouli who's been here, there's now Robert Mariani who's a part owner. He's joined it for about six years now. But this is really something here. And uh, like I said, this goes back, uh, Maxon goes back to 50-something years, 55 years. Because I've been in town 50-something years, and I remember coming here when it first started. Uh, this, this marks a milestone, I think, for Hyundais, even in New Jersey. I don't think there's a Hyundai dealership like this if you come in and see this building. Uh, 40,000 square feet. You know you people buy new cars and you go to some lousy waiting area when you get your car fixed? You've got to see it's a brand new waiting area over here. All chairs, TVs, and everything. Really great. They've really done a great job. Uh, and there is 700 new and used vehicles waiting for you they actually come and inspect. I can tell you something right now. Uh, this is some building. Uh, they, they do this right. The Jasulis always did something right, and they did this building right. I'd like to bring up right now Michael Jasuli and Robert Mariani. You want to come up and say, talk, and say a few words? Sure. <laughs> Start with Michael. Michael, how's the 55 years been? Well, it's been uh, an adventure. I tell you, I, I don't know if I could follow up on that. Uh, we should use your, our commercials. Hey, you I'm, did, I'm available. You did a great job I'm uh, available. telling about our place, and I appreciate that. Uh, uh, you know, my, my dad started this many, many years ago in the early 60s, where Planet Honda is today. Uh, he, he brought the name Maxon down from Hillside uh, on 22 off of Bloy Street. And... Uh, uh, you know, he was the largest GM dealer in the, in the country, in the world at one time in the, in the, in the late 60s. And, uh, you know, he developed quite an automotive uh, uh, a group of dealerships. And uh, when, you know, he passed at an early age, uh, 1982. And, uh, uh, you know, my brother and I uh, carried on and, and then me and him split up. And I had the option of putting up a new name or keeping the Maxon name because Timmy... Uh, started right. Planet Honda, right. so I opted to keep Maxon, and uh, I felt the name was super important, and I thought it should be carried on. And uh, you know, we started uh, selling Hyundai's, and uh, uh, Rob came on board uh, about six years ago, um, and has done an amazing uh, job, and has been a huge addition to the dealership. Uh, we were uh, last month, uh, we were seventh largest Hyundai dealer in the United States. Uh, uh, second, uh, actually first in the Northeast region. All oh, right, that's so. That's uh, Let's hear a little applause for that. That's really good. Yeah. Yeah. In, in the in the uh, early '90s, this was the largest Hyundai dealer in the United States. So we are definitely focused and looking forward to go back with that. Um, Sounds great. Yeah. Uh, come on, Rob, get in here. Thank you. I just want to say uh, this was a very challenging project took a lot of hours out of my life and without the township and the state officials and the support we got from the community, this would have been near impossible. I just really, really appreciate all the uh, support we got, the outpour from everybody. Um, what we were able to do to, to move up in those Hyundai rankings uh, is all you know, a testament to everybody around us. So just thank you so much for that. We really appreciate it. We're looking forward to being the number one dealer in the country again because of everybody that's here. I want to say thank you to a couple of other people. Okay. The guys from Redcom, uh, uh, you guys, Simon and the crew, 
Sam, all you guys, you did a fantastic job. Um, I want to thank Sean, the service director. He killed himself to keep the things together and to keep everything going, and he did an amazing job, my friend. You really kept it going, so he deserves a round of applause. It maintained amazing CSI during the whole transition. It was really good. Uh, and I'd like to uh, uh, thank my partner, Anthony, because uh, I know that, where are you? Oh, there you are. You. Because he was also super supportive and super helpful in getting things through the town and helping. And, you know, we do appreciate it. And if I missed any, thank my wife for putting up with us. Oh, you got to thank your wife. Yes. You got to thank your wife. Uh, uh, to get and, and, and thank Rob, because he was really the, 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 the glue that held this whole thing together. And I, and I want to personally thank me for that as well. Very good. If I missed anyone, I apologize. Our entire staff, right. Our entire staff. Honestly, our entire staff through this whole thing, they've been troopers and they've done an amazing job serving the community. So thank you, everybody that's in this room. Thank people so don't realize when you build a new building, you still got to stay with business around it. So they can that bring up some of the I really like to say a few words. We're just trying to buy a car over there, that's all. <laughs> Which I have to say is the first time I've been at a, a grand opening where folks are actually, they're buying a car as we are interrupting with this ceremony. <laughs> so wish you great luck. Yeah, go ahead, you know, the owner, guys to talk to are right here to my left, okay? <laughs> uh, I just want to take a moment, I also want to introduce the man to my left, Jim Bowser, who's a member of the town committee with Joe Florio. And I know along with Jim, we are very excited about the investment and the opportunity today to open what is such a one. Anthony, come here, come on over here, come on. And uh, I brought a resolution on behalf of the state and it recognizes and says a lot of the things that Michael talked about with his family, with Max, and, and the investment that's here. No matter which way you look at a car dealership, you look at it, the, you look at it a few ways, I should say. You look at it for its history. Does it matter? Is it stable? Will it be there? And you know that if you're with a Rob or with, with Mike, and you're with Max, and that you're talking about a business that's long-term that you can make a commitment to that's there for you. And a commitment back. Look at the investment that's here today. Multi-millions of dollars. Congratulations to Redcon, but most importantly, congratulations to each and every one of you, the employees here, that endured the transition, right? I'm sure every day was wonderful, all right? Until the building opened and everyone just sang the company song and said, can't wait. Uh, but it's tough. But you watch that commitment and you watch a multi-million dollar investment here. I'll just say north of 10, may not be my place, but a significant investment 15. here. 15.5 million, it's okay to say. <laughs> okay, just, was want, just wanted to confirm. Okay, but think about that. That kind of investment which shows the long-term stability of, of what Max and Hyundai is. And maybe more important is for each and every customer, whether you're here today, trying to get organized and potentially buy a new vehicle or for the future. I'm not looking for Joe Florio's TV spokesman job later. Wait, wait, wait. But I will tell you this, as somebody who's had the opportunity to, to utilize this dealership, but more important along the way for the many, many hundreds, thousands of people that have also enjoyed what you folks do, high quality service, a commitment to care, and now, whether it's a service area that's second to none, whether it's a welcoming area that says, hey, come be part of this, whether you're a Chisuli, whether you're a Manfredi, whether you're a Teresa, you're all part of the Maxim family when you come in. And maybe that's the most important part of the resolution I present. On behalf of the folks in the state of New Jersey, I want to congratulate the Maxim family for what you do each and every day, for your investment today, and for long-term business success for the future. You have the right product, you have the right people, and together you'll continue to do great things for the community and for your customers for years to come. Congratulations. Handing out paperwork, we always have congratulations to the Township of Union of Max. And like I said, I've known Michael Jasuli now for 55 years and just getting to read Margaret here. But this is something just the Township can hang on a wall. Definitely. Anthony, you want to say anything? No, no Anthony's not a, he's a great salesman, a great owner, but he doesn't like to speak on, on camera. Let me, let, me t let me just say something to the public. If you're interested in buying a new car, please take a visit down here. I mean, 
Hyundai's a good vehicle, you got great salespeople, and we apologize to the salespeople who try to make a living out here today, as we interfered with a lot of you today, but this is a great deal, it's a big deal that this place is open here today. Like I said, the people are great, the owners are great, the salesmen are great, the service is unbelievable. So if you're interested in a car, come down and take a look at it. You might like one, you might buy one. Other than that, great, congratulations again to all of you guys and, and, and to the Maxim family. And that's it. Okay. Now we're going to do a ribbon. Wait, wait. That's it for me. We're going to do a ribbon cutting. We got to move all of this inside, but we're going to still do a ribbon cutting. The Township of Union and the Union Recreation Department present a Veterans Alliance benefit concert supporting the Memorial Day Parade featuring the Union Municipal Band. Monday, May 13th, starting at 7.30 p.m. at the Union Senior Center. Admission is free, however, donations are graciously accepted. For more details, call 908-686-4200, visit uniontownship.com, and follow on social media at TWP Union NJ Rec. Lastly, Union, please stay alert and stay connected. Sign up for Everbridge to receive customizable notifications. Scan the QR code or visit uniontownship.com to register. And that's it for this edition of Spotlight on Union. Join me again for more news and events happening in your hometown as we once again put the spotlight on Union. I'm Edith Thomas and thank you so much for watching.